Hey, it's Joe. Today I want to go over getting started with the robot framework in Java. So I recently interviewed the creator of the robot framework, Pecker Clark, on my Test Talks podcast. So I thought this would be a really good time to create a quick robot framework tutorial on how to actually get started with the robot framework in Java. For those of you that don't know, the robot framework is an open source test automation framework that's based on Python. And it uses a keyword driven approach to test automation. So for this example, I'll be using Java with Maven. And I'll also be using the Selenium 2 library. So in your Java ID, just go to File New and select Other. Under the Noob dialog, you just want to select Maven. And under Maven, you want to click on Maven Project. Under the New Maven Project section, I'm just going to use the Use Default Workspace location and click on Next. So next, it wants you to select an archetype. And an archetype basically builds a shell of an application uh, based on certain parameters. Uh, so for this one, we're just going to take the Maven archetype quick start. So for group ID, we're going to use the same naming convention that Maven expects. So I'm going to use the com.testtalks.robot for my group ID. For the artifact ID, I'm going to call this Java robot. So that's all we need to fill out for this dialog. Now click finish. Awesome. And on the left hand side, you should now have a project called Java robot. If you expand the Java robot, you should also have something called palm.xml. Double click on the palm XML, click on the palm XML tab. So let's add the dependencies we need for our robot framework Java project. And just to speed things up, I'm going to go to my post on joecalentoria.com of the exact steps that I'm following for this video. And I'm just going to copy the dependencies I need for my project. All right, so the two dependencies I'm using, the first one is the robot framework. The robot framework will install everything you need in order to run on your machine. And the second dependency is the actual Selenium 2 library for Java that we're going to be using for this project. We also need to have the robot framework Maven plugin in order to run our test within Java. So for that plugin, I'm just going to go to joecalentonia.com again and copy the plugin information I need to add to the POM file. So this goes under dependencies. All right, cool. So I'm just going to save my project. And notice my workspace is going to stop building. It's going to go out and try to find these dependencies. If it doesn't find it local on my machine, which it isn't, it's going to go out and pull it down from the Maven repository. Once the workspace is done building, if there's any errors, it'll show up within the POM file itself. So notice my POM file has a big red X on it. And if I hover over the error message, it shows that it's missing an artifact. So if this happens to you, it probably won't. This only seems to happen to me, is that go to your Problems tab. And under your Problems tab, it'll tell you what is missing or what the issues are. So I have three issues. Okay, it took me around 15 minutes to figure out how to resolve this issue. Basically what happened is I went to Google and I Googled my error message and I found a stack overflow entry for the exact error message that I was getting. And basically what the resolution was, was to go and create a Eclipse shortcut and add a VM argument to my shortcut. So what I did is I went to my location where I have Eclipse. I created a shortcut in that shortcut under properties. Under my Eclipse properties, I just went to the end of my target. And I added the argument VM and I followed that by the path to my JDK bin. I then restarted my Eclipse project. I right clicked on my Java robot project. I went to Maven. And under Maven, I just went to update project. I selected force update, clicked OK. And when that was finished, I no longer had those error messages underneath my problems tab. So one concept you need to remember when creating a robot framework test is robot framework is a generic keyword driven framework. And basically that means it uses a text file or a table with keywords that it understands to run your tests. So in Java, all we're doing right now is creating a text file with the Selenium 2 keywords. Because Robot Framework comes in many ready-made built-in keywords for things like Selenium, it's easy to get started with a simple test and not have to write any code. So in our Java Robot project, let's create our first test case. So under my source test Java directory, I'm just going to right click on this and create a new folder. For the folder name, I'm going to call this robot framework forward slash acceptance. All 
Then I'm going to click on Finish. Now I'm going to right click on my new acceptance directory. Click on New and I'm going to select File. And I'm going to name my file test case underscore one dot text. Click Finish. So a big heads up is that Robot Framework is space sensitive. So if you don't have the correct spacing between keywords or words or arguments, you're going to have a lot of issues. So just to speed things up, I'm going to go back to my post on joecolantoria.com and I'm just going to grab the simple test case that I want to run here. So there's different settings you can set up within your test case. These are the most basic ones. There are other ones you can set up variables. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to use the settings header section. And for the header section, I'm just going to pass it the documentation of what I'm calling this and the libraries that I want to use. And for this particular one, I'm importing the Selenium 2 library. And to use any library, you would use the library command keyword followed by two spaces or a tab and then the name of your library. Next, I'm creating a test cases section. And under my test cases section, I'm just giving it the name of my test case, and then I'm passing it the keywords that I want to use from my test case. So I didn't create any code for this. I am just using the keywords that are available to me for the Selenium 2 library. So to see all the different keywords that are available to you within a library, you can go to the keyword documentation. So I'm under the Selenium 2 library keyword information. This will show you all the keywords and arguments you can use that are valid for the Selenium 2 library. So the first thing I want to do is I want to open up a browser. And I just want to navigate to my blog, joecolantonio.com, and then I want to close the browser. That's all I want to do. So underneath shortcuts, you'll see a list for all the different key keywords that you can use within your particular test case out of the box. So what I want to do is I want to open up my browser. So notice there's an open browser. So I'm going to click on that open browser keyword, and that will show me exactly what the open browser keyword expects. So it's looking for a keyword, which is open browser, and then the arguments, and then any documentation that you need to know about those particular arguments. All right, so let's just run this and see what happens. So in order to run this test, just like I would any other Java project, so that's why we added this plugin, the Robot Framework Maven plugin. So I just need to configure that one time. And to configure it, I'm going to right click on my Java robot project. I'm going to go to Run As and click Run Configuration. Under Run Configuration, I want to pass it some goals. So I'm going to double click on Maven Build. Under Maven Build Base Directory, I'm going to select Browse Workspace and point to my Java robot project. And then for my goals, I'm going to pass it Robot Framework, Run. And I'm just going to select Resolve Workspace Artifacts and Update Snapshots. For a list of all the different types of goals you can use for this plugin, if you go to the robotframework.org slash maven plugin, you will find the documentation and all the valid goals you can use for the Robot Framework Maven plugin. All right, cool. So I'm going to click on Apply, and I'm going to click on Run. Awesome. All the steps in my script pass, and I know this was a very simple test case, but I, the whole point of this video was just to get your environment configured so that you could do more advanced testing. But to get there, I just wanted to show you how I set up my project to run a simple test, and then you could build off this. Like I said, there's a lot of different commands you can use out of the box, just going to the Selenium 2 library keyword documentation, and you could try and, and experiment with a bunch of different other keywords. So another cool thing about the robot framework, it comes out of the box with a lot of, with some really good reporting libraries. So if you go to your target directory and you click on refresh, that'll show you the robot framework report section. And under reports, you have a few different options. Let's just double click on the report.html. And this gives you a nice overview of what test cases ran, what the status was, how long it took them to run. Uh, so it's a pretty nice report out of the box that you get without doing anything extra. Awesome. And that's how you get started using the Robot Framework with Java. If you want to see more detailed tutorials and videos on the Robot Framework using Java, go ahead and like this video to let me know that this is something that people really are interested in. So that's it. Hope it helps. Cheers.